welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle D and I'm a reader with a certificate. I'm also comparing with the human design, with the astrology and with the numerology to really guide you through your situation where I, wherever you're standing. Uh, if you would like to have a personal reading, for example, you can just go to my website and there is all the information that you need. These are general readings that can apply to you, but um, uh, I can't promise it because this is for everybody who's watching it. I'm also an artist and a singer and uh, if you are new to my channel, um, card readings and astrology and all these systems, they were used also in the past very often, mostly by kings even and, and you know, um, and uh, like common people um, never had the access to all this stuff and this is now changing so there is really no need to be afraid of that if you know me maybe from any kind of other um, thing like from music or, and so on okay <laughs> i will guide you through this oracle this is very easy to follow you just have to you know relax and just listen and thank you a lot for your time and um always in the end of a huge oracle video um, is a song because i'm a singer and a musician and you always find um, some music in the end of the video so it's worth to uh, watch till the end or just move the video back or forth how you would like to and now welcome to the oracle we are a team of readers by the way so if you um would like to work with us together and you're also doing like tarot cards or astrology or something like that or in this nature just write me you know and um yeah just contact me and then we will look further we are also doing schoolings and um, you can um, have an education with us um, as a tarot reader and uh, also as a numerologist okay but this is something you can just contact us and now let's go to the oracle i'm drawing right now a oracle deck and you must imagine these are pictures and um, this is just not done yet but this is also a making of of this oracle so i'm not shy just to present you also stuff that i'm just currently working on all right and um yeah you just have here two pictures you must imagine here that will be more white than it is now this is now the original and here you will have it like in gold or in silver so there will be very beautiful cards and there will be of course smaller not too small but smaller that is just comfortable for you to um shuffle them and now i inviting you just to choose one of these pictures and just relax just um just watch uh, at, at the both pictures just without um without too much thinking i would suggest and then just choose one that is kind of calling you that you have the feeling this is in a way calling me in and if nothing is really calling you in <laughs> then just please make a choice uh, of that that you like and if you need some more time to it then please stop the video okay if you chose here the portrait then i'm gonna read for all the guys all people that um chose just this drawing here and now i would like to have three energies three general energies here for the last two weeks of the month of january yeah these cards they want me <laughs> and we have the king of pentacles oh cool um i have the feeling that this man or this person here is just very very loyal so that could be your husband your um friend in a way maybe this is also you but this is like a general energy here for this uh, last part of the month um that's a symbol for me for stability so i have the feeling that you're very stable you are standing your ground and no matter if you are a male or a female and uh, maybe uh, there is somebody significant in your life and important just in your life uh, this time and uh, that could be a man of an um earth sign but it could be also a female because we are in a general reading next card we have the queen of wands 
Uh huh. <laughs> well, mm, that could be that you have um, that you know a lot of people here. Okay, that you have contact to a lot of people uh, just in general. But these are just uh, cards for people. Um, when I have the whole spread, then I can tell you even more. Yeah. Maybe there is some arguing with uh, some people here, that could be. Uh, maybe some truth could come out here also regarding uh, these two uh, um, persons here. Um, if this is a couple, this is a couple actually that is not really um, fitting together because they, they are very, very different, okay? But I just see here first um, just the energy that something uh, could break down or some um, some secrets could come out or something like this or some arguing between others okay but these are just the first three cards and we're gonna see more and now i would like to know um how are you how are you just in general and that could be uh, your psyche or um also um your physique okay or just like your health but for um f but this is just very very general so if you have any issues in this area please go to the doctor you know this is just an oracle for everybody <laughs> okay so the first card we have the eight of sorts maybe you don't know some 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 things maybe there are really some um, secrets or something or you are just um in the original deck so we have in the original decks so on the traditional tarot we have a woman there and she has something over her eyes so that she can see what's going on it could be also because actually uh, the eight of swords is the symbol that um, you are blinding yourself or you have any kind of interpretations of the world um, just based on your past experiences and that can be very false because uh, the perspective is very very little then okay I don't want to say that that you have a little perspective but we all everybody in for my belief is not really um, how to say that objective okay so maybe you are prison yourself with your thoughts here this is something um, I can imagine it could be um, here are two creatures that are praising maybe a bigger creature maybe you have also some high hierarchy in your hand and you can't imagine maybe maybe this is also an issue with self-esteem of being small or being big in a way okay so a little bit like this and also um, metaphoric spoken um, in any kind of area in your life could be like um, you know like these um, these thoughts second card oh the world okay so uh, you are you feel like you have contact to the world like the success is really uh, by your side that uh, you can move to the world and it just depends on what your actual plans are it could be also contact to the world or contact to foreigners or just the feeling that you feel at home okay and we have the seven of swords you have the feeling yet that you are cheated on okay and um, this is the feeling that you are maybe kind of cheated on or you yourself you um, don't take the responsibility for any kind of area in your life maybe you are not telling the whole truth or somebody else is not doing it okay these are the, just the three cards that I'm seeing now for you um, and now I would love to see um, what is in your love life and uh, it doesn't matter if you're couple single or whatever and these two cards they these cards already they want me to pick and here seven of pentacles okay you have to be patient here if you're single it could be that you have to be patient till some somebody is contacting you or you meet somebody or you are just far away and you have the feeling that the world is big you know and maybe uh, the the person that you love is really far away here is really patience and we have the nine of uh, wands it could be that and it doesn't matter if you're single or if you're coupled the general tendency could be that um, you are afraid of really showing your feelings or just let somebody in because um, you were hurt in the past and this is also not only you also when you're a female also the other person okay that there is really um, really the tendency to close up okay and the death maybe um, 
maybe you are ending here something with somebody okay it could be that there is a natural end to a situation if this is a natural end you maybe know what should end and you maybe know that maybe this thing where you currently in is maybe not the right thing if you are single and you are like waiting and waiting and waiting till somebody is coming really you um, this um, situation will end if you are in a false relationship then this thing will end okay um if you are in a false situation of your life and you want to for example move with your partner this situation this old one will end and you could move with a partner okay but this is very General. now I would like to know and now I would love to um, that you are thinking of somebody that you are coupled with right now married to or you have somebody in your mind and now I would love to know what are the tendencies here in the future or just now in the let's say in the next two weeks yeah the first card we have, oh, ten raphia. Okay, so it could be um, that the energies are really like moving together, being together. Not everybody's moving together, but really a romantic atmosphere here, okay? And we have the uh, Queen Gabriel. If you are a man, it could be that you um, fell in love with a woman of, uh, of a fire sign. Um, of um, Aries or um, Sagittarius and, or Leo or just a woman um, who has a fire is very significant in her chart and the magician so everybody who is in a false relationship and you feel that you know that maybe the love is not really real then that this thing will end and you will need somebody new okay and um, you will be in in your power here as the queen of wands so may, may, if you're female and you're watching it you you own your power okay and you have all the chances to really find somebody new and you also love to be to do your stuff alone and maybe you don't need necessarily somebody that loves you and this makes you very attractive okay um so we have the tendency of waiting we have the tendency of shutting up and not really um, um, having the people so close that could be also that this could be an issue and um, for some of you there could be also third parties um, in inside of the situation okay but not for everybody um i would like to have some more cards to it so we have for raphael yeah you're not very happy with the situation there is contact here and there is a very much like um soul relationship so it could be you know that uh, if there is any kind of third party that could be like just flirting with somebody else you are the other person okay but um, I feel still that you have a very much like a soul connection to each other whatever happens here and very much a romantic atmosphere here I have the feeling that something significant must change and what will be if you um, so what does this person actually feel for you here all the decks that I'm using, and I use a lot of decks, uh, you find also in the info box. And you also find uh, my website and WhatsApp and Facebook uh, if you would like to have uh, or book a reading so you can just write to me, okay? Yeah, two of cups. So they, um, they really feel for you really the soul connection i see here romantic and the soul connection but maybe you both are afraid okay and you know when you're afraid then a lot of, uh, most of the time people just um have the tendency just to flirt a little bit around or something like that but still there is this hard connection okay yeah and they are very very sad because the situation is like it is they are sad and they would love to uh, be together with you yeah, and still they are also afraid for um, some deep and romantic bond. I feel that this thing is a friendship. Yeah, it's a friendship and very romantic here. So that stays and that's very, very much karmic. And it's very much this the Wheel of Fortune that uh, that is very important that you guys met. Okay, whatever it might be now in the two weeks, this is the tendency. It's not that bad, you know, but it's not, um, there is romantic, yeah. 
but that's it first okay cool and now we just check out your um first chakra okay let's call it first chakra everything what falls into this theme is like um finances is home is just your fundament and also also your health let's say okay but with health is a little bit like i mean i see your vitality and if somebody of you have some issues there will be enough money just to pay for doctors and so on and so forth okay i see that uh, already here with these cards but um yeah first card ah ten of wands maybe you really have something here that is burden you okay and it's burden you still this is something i see for some of you it could be too much work for the other ones it could be some issues yeah and we have the seven of seven of cups yeah you have high hopes high dreams maybe some um illusions or just uh, some fantasy over your new home maybe over your career also yeah and we have the nine of pentacles it's beautiful you got enough money you have enough self-esteem um, for those who has issues in a way health or something yeah they're still there but still you also find the peace within you and I see really money here okay I see money to make your dreams come true even though you must check out maybe uh, which re dreams are reality maybe if some dreams are just too big then they maybe need more time than you think uh, or they could be illusions but this is something more for a personal reading yeah thanks okay if you guys chose here this uh, picture which is not done yet but on its way so how i said it's also a making of and uh, i'm gonna read uh, just now for you now I need just three cards just for the overall energy of this month if you'd like to book a personal reading then please just contact me via whatsapp or Facebook so you know all that stuff is just in the info box okay so the first cards are the fool yeah maybe you um, this is really a, an energy that is young that is fresh that is new maybe something new is common also or if you would like to have a baby or something or it's just regarding with children then you um, there is just the energy of children also there so you know and very fresh and we have the six of um, of sorts and it could be that you move somewhere or you just travel somewhere and there is a really a light energy and also an energy of a new beginning maybe you're a little bit shy in this new beginning still maybe you're a little bit afraid what will be uh, when I just um, pass this this border let's say and I'm just um, you know in this new country town or apartment or whatever or in this new situation but you're just you know sliding into something new here and we have knave of swords here yeah maybe you have here a, a problem with your child or with children and that could be because you know children uh, some of you some of you could have an issue with children but of course not everybody it's general reading how i also explained um this is also an energy of a lot of communication maybe a communication of a new beginning here maybe uh, something uh, you just have to um, communicate also a little bit like very very direct that you would like to have this new beginning okay that could be also uh, something like this here and not every child is the same and not every child is crazy or has ADHD or something um, that could be just you know they're also now the newborn children um, they're also very very different than the children that were born uh, years ago okay and so this is really something um, worth deep in it yeah um, and there's also human design for example and there are also you know uh, aura types that are not really fitting into this normal behavior or behaving world these are just uh, topics to consider because um, you know uh, this uh, living together could be much peaceful than it is when there are two Mm, just the false expectations yeah this is just you know something i would like love to add also to it yeah human design you can just google that 
Um, okay, so um, let's go further and I would love to know um, how are you? <laughs> how are you just, you know, physically, emotionally and so? Um, if you have any health issues, just go to the doctor, you know, this is just a general reading for maybe hundreds of people, you know, and so I cannot tell you if something will be good or not. <laughs> but when I see how, how, how are you, when I just see, you know, these cards also in this uh, field, then I can also um, say more. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, could be that you feel very stable, that you feel really like you're standing your ground. When you're a man, then you are very much stable here and also financially stable. Maybe you're also a very a loyal person here. Yeah, this is how you feel. Uh, or you feel that somebody is very loyal to you and uh, somebody like this. Uh, can be very important here in your life. That's a, that's a male energy. It could be also in women, right? It could be also your energy. With money, it looks actually good here. You feel maybe rich in a way. If you are, we will see further, yeah? <laughs> All right, so we have the Four of Swords. Maybe there is um, a, a contact blocking or just uh, some silent phase with your partner, maybe, or with somebody that you love or so. Uh, or you just feel very peaceful, you're waiting for something new, you may be waiting for a new chance, maybe to move or to just move into a new situation or just make a new beginning and you are waiting and uh, you just have everything to do it, but maybe you just need the start kick, you know, maybe you're just waiting for a letter for anything and you are just peaceful and calm and you're waiting, yeah? Nothing bad on that, I don't know, you're just waiting, I just see that. But you're very stable here and calm down, okay? And the aid of chalice is how I said. A lot of you will just leave an old situation, old parent, and go into something new. And you're waiting till you can really make this step to do it, okay? Good, so um, this is just general how you feel, you feel, this is something that you feel. And the energy is also that you can also make this step into something new. So, you know, you have the right feeling that something is going to change, yeah? So you're wait waiting for the right thing, how I want to say. And now I would love to see here, what about your love life? Your love life, if you're single or a couple, doesn't matter. So this is just like for everybody. Just I would like to have three general cards now. The first card. The three of wands. Um, if you know somebody or if you um, would like to go in a relationship with somebody or something, you are just on the step to it. Maybe you are just getting to know each other. Maybe you are preparing something just to just to build something up together. You are maybe working on something, on some issues, just to, you know, get and enter into a relationship together. Or you are just on your way into self-love, into dating and so and um, if you are asking um, how far you are with this thing then I can say yeah you're maybe like you know over the hill already but there is still some way to go and we have here the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups um, could be a third party and I'm not gonna lie to you for some of you um, but if you are um, or a water sign, for example, or if you're very creative or so, that could be also a symbol for you. You are, um, you have a very deep heart, you're very sensitive, okay? Uh, yeah, but this is just the general energy now. Yeah, and maybe you are maybe, you know what, that could be also that you are afraid that there is a third party in a way. Okay? Could be that you are afraid. Um, but you know what? Mm, if you have something in your mind, uh, maybe maybe somebody you're coupled with already or you're just dating right now, uh, just you know this partner that you have in your mind of male or male or female, doesn't matter. We're gonna ask now how the general energies are for you guys. And I would like to see really um, a relationship reading now. Let's do it in short. I'm not going to. I'm. I'm not gonna tell all um, all cards I see, but I'm just gonna um, summarize what I see here. Okay. <laughs> all right. 
in the middle we have to have the five of swords maybe somebody is not really honest the partner is thinking that um, he or she is quite patient now and they are patient maybe waiting for a step of you they have the sun in their heart that that means um, they are in love okay they are in love and they're just waiting maybe for you to just come or something maybe you are also separating here maybe um, he or she is in a different place or something like this um, in their unconscious belief there is the death maybe they have um, some unconscious belief of uh, that things are um, ending um, before they began but this is really something maybe from childhood or something like that maybe worth to um, take a deeper look in but they really are offering you here um, a relationship and really something um, that you can rely on okay so this is also what they do here Still they are afraid really, still they are really afraid also, there is some fear, but still the feelings are very very good here also towards you. And they are also very um, passionate about you, passionate about you and they really thought very deeply about it, uh, how to go further with you, so the, the feelings are very very honest. You. Are thinking of a bright future for you guys together or just for yourself or whatever and uh, we have here also um, your heart is really taking one step after the other uh, maybe you're also um, not free from any pain okay or just from any um, things in the past or so but you really give that thing time and to really you know open your heart you give that time it's not open yet so much okay and we have here um, yeah you are you are very much like um, not worrying but you're taking care of your fundament and of your security here very much yeah and um, you are really working this these things together okay so um, you are maybe working together or you are working on this relationship also with this person or just um, on, on that commitment that you guys have um, yeah you are thinking of a new beginning that gives you really passion and really um, something that you really like you you would like to have a, um, a family or a commitment together here okay so uh, you are in your unconscious belief the um, the Empress and the and this is a very good card so the Empress should come more into the light I would say because this is a very nice energy it's a very mature energy it's beautiful it's also like very much this full female energy and why not bring it more out okay um, and live in it more maybe also being a mother but this is of course not for everybody the issue and or the, the case not the issue the case yeah <laughs> uh, okay so we have here um, yeah some this is very beautiful very very beautiful you think that they are your soulmate here um, yeah very nice very very nice so I see actually with this partner uh, it's very positive here you can trust them I mean this is a general reading of course I cannot promise to you that everything will become true because this is just a general reading now yeah mm -hmm. good guys so now I would like to, love to see um, what is with your money and with your fundament and with your first chakra here okay so this is everything about security home and money oh and we have here already cards What comes in here, you have a lot of self-esteem and a lot of stability and a good fundament for yourself. And somebody is criticizing that. Maybe they think like, oh my gosh, um, you, you can be alone very, very well and so on. But maybe um, is it really that what you, what, you, um, what you need, what you want? And they maybe question that, okay? Maybe it's really worth to um, just listen to the opinions of them. Why not? Um, but still, I just see some nice money, some nice fundament and also a lot of self-love.
was your oracle thank you very much for watching for liking sharing and for subscribing and you will uh, always have access to all new videos and new content and now i'm inviting you to enjoy the song and have a good time and see you in february bye bye Oh.